Good evening. Welcome to Ask TV News. I am Jitni Ngomba giving you the news. The top stories. For the first time in India, Kumbalam Park Astrotraff hockey field is going to be of an international standard comparable to that of Netherlands where the World Cup is going to be held next June. And Operation Theater of Numba PAC remains unused due to technical defect. The news in detail. Renovation and development works at the Kumalampa Hockey Stadium are nearing completion. Meanwhile, international track master Anthony Aparelli, who is presently in Imphal, told our senior sports journalist Boya Ningtozum that the AstroTub hockey field in Imphal is undoubtedly of world standard. The materials which were installed previously at the hockey field without maintaining quality have now been replaced. Instead, new AstroTub, new water sprinkle system, new goal posts, etc. have been installed. A vacuum cleaning machine has also arrived already. The international track must have carried out the ISO testing and also inspected the water sprinkle system. Well, I'm going to do the watering, but the field is already very good. Uh, it's a world-class field. Actually, the product is a TX from Greenfield. It's the same used in La Hague, you know, uh, in Netherlands in 2014 for the, for the World Championship. Uh, it's a very good project. Uh, I've tested maybe more than 100 fields for football, FIFA, and something like 40, 50 fields over the world for hockey and running track as well. Track master Anthony Aparelli, who is member of the FIFA accredited test institute, further told the ISTV news that the Kumalam Park field is comparable to the hockey field of Netherlands, where the World Cup of hockey is going to be held next June. Testing of hockey field being developed by the Manipur Development Society in collaboration with the International Hockey Federation is over. A fitness certificate for the hockey field will be issued and a report will be submitted to the International Hockey Federation, he said. Um, the Manipur Society development here and also the director of the stadium. Uh, I think they've done a good collaboration job and uh, the result is very good. I started yesterday already and now I'm finishing today. But I'm very, very confident. And as soon as I finish, I will issue my report, send it to FIH directly. And in yeah, a couple of weeks, then they will receive a certificate, official certificate from the Federation. And so far, I haven't seen any inconsistency. The field is very, very homogeneous. The value are almost the same everywhere. It's a, it's a very, very good field. I think for like national game, international game, it would be no problem here. On the other hand, representative of Greenfield Company India, Deepak Kunolkar, who accompanied track master Anthony Aparelli, said he came to Manipur to carry out the field test and issue worthiness certificate for the hockey field. For the first time in India, the hockey field in Manipur is going to be of an international standard, he said. I am from Greenfields Turf System. That's a Dutch company operating out of Netherlands. And uh, we have come here to do the certification and testing of this field which is a process that is required in after installation of any hockey field that is of global conditions. That's the reason we are here, to do the certification and the testing with the FIH lab people who are here right now doing the testing. This is the exact same pitch that is laid here and for the first time I think in India this is the same pitch that has come. A lot of players in Stag and Indian coach is also looking to come and play here once the pitch is certified for practicing. Since this is a similar surface they will have for the next World Cup as well. The operation theater at Primary Health Center Numba has been lying unused due to technical defects. People of the area are facing a lot of difficulties due to lack of infrastructure, inadequate staff and insufficiency medicines to be distributed to the patients at the PAC. Recently, a team of ISTV News comprising sub-editor Naurabam Phillips and a video journalist Ranjan Ningombam found out the present condition of the Primary Health Center. The room of Operation Theater at the center is very small, which makes it a major hindrance in performing surgery. Talking to the ISTV News, a staff of PAC said, even though an X-ray machine has been installed at the center, and there is no technician to operate the machine. It has been lying unused. He further said, Nungba is the main center, and large number of patients come from neighboring villages. However, the patients are not getting the medicines to be provided free of cost under the National Health Mission had drew the attention of the authority concerned to take the appropriate step for the far-flung PACs 
in the state where the medical facilities are very poor. Medical officer of the center also said that as there is no specialist doctor at the center, he faces many difficulties. This is the major hindrance in providing medical facilities to the villages. However, all possible efforts are being made to satisfy the villages by the prison staff posted at the center. He further said, if a complicated case comes, then the patient is sent to Imphal for further treatment. <laughs> Vice President of Manipur Pradesh Trinamul Congress, M.I. Khan, has alleged that the PDS items are not available to the public in Kerao Assembly constituency. Speaking to media persons at the office of the party at Moirangkom, M.I. Khan said, the PDS items are available to the public of Kairau Assembly constituency for six months only. There are enough grounds of suspicion about the involvement of two nominees and the local MLA in misusing the PDS items. He added, Trinamul Mahila President and Promo, Block President of Kairau Assembly constituency Abdul Salam, Vice President Evotham and many party workers attended the press meet. Amai Khan for the alleged did the price of appeal rice is 9 rupees 30 paise per kg but it is being sold at 11 rupees per kg to the public if the pds items are provided in less quantity to the public in comparison with other assembly constituency and such circumstances continue in Kerala assembly constituency a case will be filed against the government with the support of the public american one <laughs> Bibi Drava, Natraga, or Narabani Melena, Low Dribra, High Visisu Kamini, Karimba, Baliba, Congress Government Asina, Karao Kiri Chatuma Si, Hantana Piradi, Prajari Mahutsi Laga, Sosen Worker, Emai Kana, Governor Matakta, PIL, PIL Pova, Taraga Manabakata, Sutoi Soy and Lonaba, Honazabi. A one-day regional review meeting on National Vector Bone Diseases Control Program (NVBDCP) for North East was held at Hotel Infal today. Additional Director NVBDCP, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of Manipur, Dr. Abdes Kumar, Principal Secretary Health and Family Welfare, Government of Manipur, Dr. Suresh Babu, Director of Health and Services, Dr. O. Ibomsa, and many officials took part in the meeting. The speakers spoke about the. Vector Bone Diseases Control Program and its successful implementation in the Northeast in detail. Addressing the gathering, Principal Secretary Dr. Suresh Babu said there are a lot of hardship in implementing flagship programs of the central government in this state. Besides, there are reports of indifference among the concerned officials. He added, if the flagship programs have to be taken off successfully in the state, the funding should be given to the implementing agencies directly, he opined. The concept of the entire mission mode constituting a society, NSM society or SSA society or MSA society, is to see that the constraint that the governments are facing in getting the funds is eased out by directly putting the fund into the accounts of these societies by the government of India. With the aim of averting disturbances in education sector, AIC Manipur today took out a peaceful motorcycle rally from Irabod Bhavan through Imphal Street to Mailambi and proceeded towards Taubal Road. The rally passed Mailambi, Mayang Imphal, Wavagai, Kaksing, Kongzom, Taubal and then returned to Irabut Bhavan via Lilong. President of AIS Manipur State Council and Sanahal said, in 2014, people of Manipur have faced immense hardship during the movement of implementation of ILP. 
The rally was organized to avoid such a situation in 2015. Secretary of Air said Manipur State Council and Lenin said the peaceful motorcycle rally will be very helpful in striving towards development in a peaceful manner. <laughs> Secretary of Women Action for Development Subita Mangsatabam has said that not having a policy for gender and women in Manipur is also an issue. She said this at a seminar on how to stop crime against women at Lamjan Basanglian Palace compound today. The seminar was organized by Ningol Jai Falamzing Apunba, NYLK Singzamai. President of NYLK, T.A. Sobasini, Secretary of Ward Sobita Mangsatabam, President of Evam, Renu Takelambam, Lecturer of Damdai College, Modbung, Priyadishni Gante, Chitra Antem, and many leaders of civil society organizations attended the seminar. Resource persons talk about the ever increasing crimes against women and children. Speaking as one of the resource persons, Sobita Mangsatabam further said, in depth discussion on gender issue is of paramount importance. There are even some countries which have separate ministry for matters related to gender. Having a separate ministry for gender in the state is also very important, she said. India is a patriarchal system. Zanariba, Nupana Sasonto, Nupana Kulingba, Samazama, Oiraga, Lisang Sitna Sahi, Lissing Lissing, Oiraga Laki, Begetu, Begi, Atawaka, and Omosule, Niadina, Zende Isusi, Paratki, and India, and the Lak Patusam Tinge. Not is dialogue forum organized a procession carrying slogan against the ever increasing crime in Manipur from Haibong Pokpi Community Hall to Lyrian Kabi today. The procession which villages with the messages of international humanitarian law and right to life. Play cards written with slogans such as Stop Crime War, Sap Women, Sap Generation, etc. were displayed. A one day continuing medical education program on diagnosis and management of hemophilia was held at the conference hall of the Department of Immunohematology and Blood Transfusion RIMS. The program was jointly organized by the Department of Immunohematology and Blood Transfusion and Hemophilia Society in Fall Chapter today. Around 62 doctors and specialists took part in the program. Medical Superintendent of RIMS, Dr. M. Amuba, Organizing Secretary of the Chapter, A. Brenda Sharma, President M. Maina, and Chairman of Regional Council, Ajoy Roy, were present as the main guests. Addressing the gathering, Ajoy Roy said, RIMS is now fully equipped for treating hemophilia. It, he urged the doctors to work together with the patients' parties. President of Hemophilia Society, Infal Scepter, A. Minus said, the society has been able to help many people since the chapter started functioning from 2013. Now the national and international news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today saluted the indomitable courage and valor of the Indian Army on the occasion of Army Day. He said the country is proud of their dedication and determination. On Army Day, I salute the indomitable courage and the valor of the, our army. We are extremely proud of their dedication and determination, the Prime Minister said in his message. Army Day is observed on January 15 every year. Stepping up attack on Delhi BJP President Satish Upadhyay, AAP Chief Arvind Kejriwal today said that he would present fresh evidence against him. The former Chief Minister had alleged a nexus between Upadhyay and certain power distribution companies. Saying farms owned by him were installing and repairing meters for the discoms in the national capital. A U.S. court has dismissed a lawsuit accusing Prime Minister Narendra Modi of failure to control the 2002 Gujarat riots, saying as a sitting head of government, he was entitled to immunity. In dismissing the case filed by Human Rights Group American Justice Center, AJC, in New York, U.S. District Judge Annalisa Tors upheld the U.S. Department of State's determination regarding immunity for Modi. Tors dismissed the plaintiff's argument that the Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act provided immunity only to foreign states and not to individual government officials, and Modi was not entitled to common law immunity as the alleged acts took place before, the, before he became Prime Minister. 
even as the security apparatus in Jammu and Kashmir is fully geared up to neutralize terror groups. Supported by Pakistan, a top army commander warned that there are over 200 highly trained, highly trained terrorists waiting at 36 launch pads in the Pir Panchal range across the border in Pakistan, trying to infiltrate into India. General Officer Commander 16 Kos Nagota Lieutenant General K. A. Singh warned that Pakistan trained terrorists are planning to target sub targets, including schools and civilian areas, ahead of U.S. President Barack Obama's visit later in January. 200 Pakistani trained terrorists are waiting for an opportunity to infiltrate into India, said Lieutenant General K. A. Singh. He added that there are 14 to 15 camps south of Pir Panjal area of Pakistan where terrorists are being trained. Encouraged by softening inflation, the RBI today decided to cut the benchmark interest rate by 0.25% to 7.75% with a view to boost growth. The decision to reduce repo rate comes a fortnight ahead of the scheduled debt of monetary policy announcement on February 3. The RBI has been keeping the benchmark interest rate at elevated level at 8% since January 2014. The RBI, however, had decided to keep the cash reserve ratio CRR, the portion of deposit which the banks are required to have in case with the central bank unchanged at 4.0%. French President Francois Solande has insisted Charlie Hebdo and its values will survive. After the new addition of the satirical weekly sold out in O's, Charlie Hebdo is alive and will live on. Mr. Hollande said, millions more copies of the magazine are being printed because of the demand. It comes a week after Islamist gunmen murdered two people at each offices and five other in subsequent attacks. The new edition has angered some Muslims by depicting the Prophet Muhammad. The cartoon shows the prophet weeping while holding a sign saying I am Charlie and below the headline, all is forgiven. The Afghan Taliban today denounced the latest cartoons. The militants strongly condemn this repugnant and inhuman action, a Taliban statement quoted by a news agency said. The group also praised last week's attacks. Before we wind off the top stories once again. For the first time in India, Kumbalampa Astro Tough Hockey Field is going to be of an international standard comparable to that of Netherlands, where the World Cup is going to be held next June. An operation theater of Numba base remains unused due to technical defect. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.